Right there we have the perpetually beautiful Tammy with Ulu. I've got uh, my homie Mr. Kurgan here and uh, we're at the entrance to the Alfreys Park and we're ready to have a good time. Ready? Yep. Come along. Thought we'd film the hike with Ulu today. I usually uh, film the hikes with the more popular dogs. I mean, all the dogs go for hikes. We do multiple hikes a day, but I always make sure we get Lobo and Kurgan in there and the young dogs. Yeah. It's hot today. It's uh, 99 degrees, uh, high humidity. Anking on some leaves, Ulu lifting her leg to pee like a male. <laughs> you see that, Tam? Yeah. Lifting her leg to pee like Buttons she does. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they're both in the water. Yep. Kurgan's rolling in it, sticking his face in it. Now this time of year when you see Kurgan doing that sticking his face in the mud, he does that to protect himself from mosquitoes. He's a smart boy. You know, uh, on his face and muzzle and uh, that uh, where the uh, hair is short is where they can bite him. And so. He'll usually, when he first gets down here uh, during mosquito season, rub his muzzle in some, some mud. And again, you'll notice, I mean, we come down here all the time year round and it, it is really only during mosquito season that you'll see him doing that. Come on. boy the girl Lulu's still blowing her uh, winter coat. You can see uh, some traces of it around the underside of her neck and uh, on the backs of her thighs, that uh, kind of puffy uh, light colored hair you see on her back of her thighs there. This is beautiful, huh? Again, it's 99 degrees, it's a scorcher, but uh, man, it's beautiful all the same. They're lifting her leg to pee. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. 
Our little uh, three pound uh, teacup size Yorkie does the same thing. She's a dominant little female too. <laughs> Very good in the mud again. Let me crouch down for a second. My sciatic is acting up. Hey, come here, Lulu. Good girl. Good girl. You see the cloud of hair when I patted her? They're playing our song, Pam. Yeah. Wait, Lulu, you're peeing everywhere, just like the boys. Lulu, this way. Good girl. Cottonwood seeds blowing everywhere, just beautiful. You want to go walk along the river? Or? Yeah, I get them in the water. Yeah, pull them down a bit. It's like there's the river. <laughs> Come on, Ulu. Ulu, come on. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Ulu's like, hey, Dad, I want to be part of the beach party. Come on. Good boy. Tripping already. Yeah. yeah. Big man. Did you have the water, sweetheart? All kinds of boats up along the shore there, huh?
enjoying the river, Ulu? Yes. Butterfly Tam. Oh, here goes going Patty. Just a moment. Now that that's taken care of. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, thank you. You've got a handsome dog, also. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, how are you? Oh, enjoying the day. <coughs> Come here, Lulu. Somebody lost their leash. Hang it from the branch there, they'll have a better time of finding it. Yeah. Good girl. Thought there'd uh, be a lot more people down here today. All back here. Yeah, yeah. We tend to hit the uh, back parts of the dog park just because they're not as crowded. You, you do get a lot of people down here in certain areas of it. I think a lot of those people though never bother to explore just how big the area is. They just go to the... Yeah, right after you come in the entrance there's a couple of really popular spots where people let their dogs swim but there's tons of trails and stuff off of there. What do you notice though? Nobody's coming up and shaking off on us. <laughs> we also noticed how quiet the car ride was on the way here. Lobo, uh, when he's in the car, uh, whines incessantly. Are you kidding, Mom? It's 99 degrees. <laughs> Okie doke. Yeah, the point's just empty, huh? Nice. Yeah. Nice when you got it to yourself. So it's kind of fun when you got a lot of dogs running around playing here, too. Look like at that. And a dead piece of carcass. Wow, look at that. Perfect 
Yeah. That is a perfect stick for Lobo. You say it smells like manure? Yeah. Yeah, it's all the swampy stuff there drying out the sun, I'm sure. Ooh, they're flying. Yeah, those jet skis are fun. Oh man, I'd love to be on that. I guess they're wave runners. Would be a blast on a day like today. Like a snowmobile on water. Have you ever have you ever driven no. one of those? Oh, they're so fun. But they're like a snowmobile, right? Yeah. I've driven snowmobiles. Kind of. It's kind of like sitting on one. They control a little different, but they're a lot of fun. Yeah. Yep. Bergen, you big alligator. Watch out for a second, the sand is acting up. Uh, Ulu finally decided to lay down. Yeah. <laughs> Just see if give her give her a little affectionate rub. Is that your wife? <laughs> Nothing even came out, Kurgan, just a drip. <laughs> well, don't mind that here. Yeah, yeah, dehydrate yourself. <laughs> See, Lulu lifting her leg to pee. <laughs> and then scratching. So she's peeing more than Kurgan when she does it. Kind of funny, the last two videos, people have, uh, there she's peeing again on something with her leg up. The last couple of videos, people picked out frogs that the puppies were chasing that we missed. You know, good eye. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Kurgan. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Mm -hmm. Again, every chance they get to go in water, they're in it. And I don't blame them. Yeah, it's surprisingly uh, empty. The, yeah, empty this part of the park. I like it. They, like they must all, they must all be congregating at the entrance there. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, two trips she's got me on now. Ooh, nice. Better you than me. <laughs> Watch out all that uh, slimy algae's on this stuff again. Yeah, that stuff's so weird. You know how it comes Remember, and goes? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look at that, Tammy. See that? It's a turkey. 
running up the hill there that Ulu saw. Ulu, come on. Yep. Big one. She saw it. Yeah, she saw it. side over there. On the other side. Yep. You see that turkey too, Kurgan? just how uh, clean and clear the spring water is. Yeah, it's hot. A little warm. Yeah. Woohoo! Almost three! Three, I got my foot wet. The rock I stepped on uh, tumbled. My foot actually feels pretty good now. I, know, right? <laughs> I wish the rest of me felt like that. I don't think Kurgan just got me. Thanks, homie. Looks like I'm sharing. Ulu, no, this way. Good girl. Come on. More water up here. Lots of little gnats right here. What? Lots of little gnats right around that log there. today. This one. Remember that one? Yeah. Is that a moonstone and uh, what's the other one there? can't remember that. Mm. I have to look it up. All my dogs love water. It's pretty hard not to love water on a 99 degree day with the high humidity though. <laughs> Thanks homie for spreading the love. Marking the Mississippi witch hut as his. Because <laughs> the Mississippi witch, she's everywhere. <laughs> You're peeing all over her place. What the hell, Kurgan? It's Kurgan's hut now. Right? 
to see if they uh, replaced the stack of rocks that uh, winter knocked down. Mm -hmm. Come on. Not just two, Tim. Yeah. Yep. Oh boy. Oh no, they put one up. I think uh, this is a this is a. No, the one that fell was on that rock over there. Oh, it was. Yep, yep. This is a a new one. What's up, big girl? What's up, buddy? Did I get a shot at the end front of that? There you go, I think that was a good shot. I got her perked her ears up. Good girl. Little tricks of getting dogs to perk up in shots. Up. Oh. Girl. Holy cow, I got tired climbing up that. It is thick back here in, in the you know the greenery. Come on, Kirk, move. Thirsty. Yes, I am too.
I say attic is active. I got hit by a truck years ago, and it's uh, kind of how my uh, YouTube channel started. My uh, floating ribs on my left hand side of my rib cage are caved in, and got a bunch of other issues from it. But uh, my channel started as like a recovery vlog for uh, my uh, my injury, and so if you see me from time to time crouched down and stuff like that, it's just I'm, I'm unlocking the nerve that. Uh, causes my side to act up. Just part of the dents and dings of getting older. Come on. Good boy. Good girl. Lulu marking her territory again. Oh. I like that color purple on you. It looks pretty. Yeah. Let's go this way. Okay. Just cause, no, just because that, that, yeah, that that path is kind of narrow. <laughs> Did you inhale a bug? I just saw a cloud. <laughs> yeah. I saw a cloud of gnats in front of her. <laughs> she inhaled a, a, a nap. She wants me to keep moving so you don't hear her. Come on, sweetie. They want us all eating bugs soon enough. It's going to be your last chance to cool off. Then it's the home stretch back to the beat jet, back to the Jeep. Holy cow, it's hot, man. You alright? Yeah. Just gig for a minute. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty. Oh, there's a clock! Right here, Chad. Did he move? He's right there. It's right in here. Nice. Oh, he was right there. A little gray, a little kind of gray, kind of stone. Gray. Actually, it looks like the color of the tree. It's probably a toad then. Yeah. Yeah. Little cutie, just sitting there. Lulu going after chipmunks. Not Lulu. Lulu in the winter loves to catch and eat little mice that she uh, finds running underneath the snow on these hikes. Nature's hors d'oeuvre. Holy cow, it sucked. Can you crush 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sad, he's good. good girl. Good boy. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Really? Dirt and sweat. Really? I got Lobo shaking at me and we got Kurgan kicking the dirt all over my sweaty legs and wet shoes. I'm sure he's chuckling to Ulu right now. Did you see that? I got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he gets for slowing us down in these heat. Dude, there's nothing coming out. I don't know why it is, but it's always at about this stretch of the hike, I start thinking about food <laughs> and what I want to eat. Tammy and I both uh, practice intermittent fasting and OMAD. We basically eat uh, one meal a day. That's what OMAD stands for. Uh, basically, we fast for 18 to 20 hours every day and then during a four to six hour feeding window we eat what we want during that uh fasting period we drink uh water or black coffee it's got all kinds of proven health benefits I've talked about it in other videos for men it uh raises your uh natural uh, testosterone and uh growth hormone levels and uh, it also gives you periods of time uh, where you don't have any food in your stomach which allows your body to uh, use the resources it would use for digesting that to uh, do repairs and other things we weren't meant to uh, constantly have food in our stomachs and to be eating all day that's uh, recently a new thing uh, our ancestors didn't eat that way uh, three meals a day is just, just too much, especially with uh, the activity level that most people are doing daily. I find eating this way, uh, not only do I stay healthier, but uh, oops, that's one. not only do I stay healthier, but uh, uh, also I, I enjoy eating more when I do eat. You know, yeah. the food always tastes much better when you're eating that. Uh, that one meal. You know, it takes about uh, a week or so for uh, 
you to adjust to it. It's, it's not a diet, it's just a change in eating pattern. And uh, that really? <laughs> then you got Ulu peeing on every stump. Again, look it up, intermittent fasting. Uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's really uh, worked well for me and Tammy over the last few years, right? Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. But what do I know? I'm just some guy on YouTube. I'm not uh, passing myself off as any kind of nutritionist. Uh, I have worked out my whole life since I was about 12 years old and tried to stay in shape. I was a infantry paratrooper. I've done various martial arts throughout my life. So I've, I've tried to take care of myself. And, uh, you know, over that you pick up... Uh, Little bits of knowledge here and there. Just trying to pass a little along for those uh, who might be interested. <laughs> and it doesn't cost any money to intermittent fast. You know, it's right. not like I'm asking you to go buy some supplement or something like that. Nine or so. Yeah, yeah, some piece of workout <laughs> equipment, you know. I crushed out of my sciatica. I've had a shoulder injury that's been uh, plaguing me for the last uh, couple of years, actually. But uh, I took the last six months off uh, of uh, working out uh, a lot of upper body stuff just because uh, it just wasn't healing. So I've just gotten to the point where I'm starting to do stuff again because uh, it was driving me crazy. They'll give me uh, lots of opportunity to focus on lower body stuff for six months. Mm -hmm. See all the white stuff that you're seeing all over the ground here, and hopefully the camera's picking it up, is uh, cottonwood seeds. Again, it's starting to build up and look like snow. I'm really lifting her leg to pee again. Again, uh, in another week, it'll, it'll look like it snowed back here. It already is starting to, if you look through here, all the white stuff. It's pretty neat. I love cottonwood. Though, I know some people have allergies to it. Yeah. 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 I don't have any allergies at all. I'm lucky that way. You have some, don't you? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah a few. Not very many. No. You know, since you started uh, eating bee pollen, though, it seems like that stuff's it's, lessened up. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, a lot of times if you uh, consume uh, bee pollen that was uh, collected by bees that live in your area, it, it'll uh, help uh, build up your immunity to some allergies in that. Uh, both my son and wife have noticed that. Mm -hmm. I love bee pollen. Uh, I eat it every day. I take bee pollen uh, uh, instead of uh, other supplements. Uh, it has every vitamin and nutrient known to man. Uh, uh, extremely healthy. Also take uh, some vitamin D and then some vitamin K to help that vitamin D get where it's supposed to go. But uh, between that and the bee pollen, uh, pretty set. yeah, pretty set. You guys ready? You done peeing on everything? Come here, Ulu. Come here, Kurgan. Bye from Miss Ulu. Bye from Mr. Kurgan. Bye from my perpetually beautiful wife. Bye, guys. Have a great Saturday. Bye from myself also. Check out our merch store. Lots of cool merch, cool way to support the channel. See ya. Come here. Right there you see uh, Puko and Lobo after our hike. People often ask, why don't you take all the dogs out when you go down here? Well, this is why. I, I drive a Jeep and this is all the space I have to carry dogs. I can only carry two to three large dogs at a time. So we do uh, two trips a day. That's all. Bye from uh, Puko, Lobo, and the Bye beautiful guys. Tammy. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below.